I know how to ask for and get a raise. Yet I hate asking for a raise. It feels awkward, confrontational, embarrassing even, and it risks rejection and not feeling appreciated. Asking for a raise is an emotional big deal for most of us. If we're going to put ourselves through the discomfort of asking for a raise, making sure the odds are firmly stacked in our favour of getting a raise makes a lot of sense. A really important fact to appreciate. Managers are used to being asked for a raise by their staff. Asking for a raise is a totally normal part of having a job. Your boss won't think badly of you for asking for a raise or make your life difficult, etc. You know, unless maybe you're asking every single week. You also have to know that it is 100% in the employer's interests to pay you as little as possible while still keeping you motivated and staying with the company. This means the longer you stay in a business, the more likely you will become underpaid unless you regularly ask for a raise. If you stay in the same business for years, your long-term pay increases are about half the level of someone who moves job every couple of years. A lot of this difference comes from staff not asking for a raise often enough. In this video we're going to go through firstly meeting two fundamental conditions to get a raise, secondly three vital bits of preparation to do before you ask for a raise, third an example script of what to say when asking for a pay rise and then fourth what responses to expect after asking for a salary increase. To increase your salary today you need to meet two fundamental conditions to get a raise. Employers will want to give you a raise when Firstly, the value you are delivering for the company has noticeably increased. And secondly, you are a good employee who your boss does not want to lose, which would mean that they would have to go through the hassle, cost and risk of hiring a new person, which they won't want to do. If one of these two fundamental reasons is missing, you are unlikely to get a raise. If you are delivering the same value as last year, the company doesn't have any extra money, if you like, to share with you. When you deliver more value, the company has extra money to potentially share. More on how you demonstrate your value in a bit. Replacing staff is a big cost to the company. Most bosses will try to avoid losing good staff and saying yes to a reasonable request for a raise is an easy way to keep those staff. Make sure you are a good team player. Make your boss's life easier, not harder. And keep yourself at least average or above in the team in terms of what you deliver. Do these things and you are much more likely to get a raise when you ask for a raise. Here are three vital bits of preparation to do before you ask for a raise. You know, to successfully ask for a raise, the preparation I think you must do is, firstly, do your job market research. Secondly, know how you are going to show your value in financial terms. And then third, demonstrate your performance relative to others. Touching on each quickly. So firstly, do your job market research. You collect proof of what the market in your area is paying for a person doing your job in a similar company. You need market research for two reasons. Firstly, to provide proof of what the other companies are willing to pay you if you choose to move jobs. And secondly, to subtly let your manager know that you could and would be willing to move. Get a list of job adverts for your job offering higher salaries than you are currently being paid. The closer the jobs being advertised are to your job, the more compelling your request for a raise. Print these off so you can literally hand them to your boss. Speak to recruitment consultants about the salaries being paid for your role in the market. Get the recruiters' names and the agencies they work for, plus the salary ranges they tell you. Create a summary printout to give to your boss. Secondly, know how you're going to show your value in financial terms. Translate as many of your achievements over the last year into financial numbers. You can do this for every one of your achievements, regardless of your role. Translate your achievements into one or more of these. Firstly, revenue or profit created. Secondly, cost saved. Third, time saved, which you can then translate into cost saved by using a day rate for the jobs in question. And fourth, efficiency gained, which can usually be translated into time saved and then into cost saved. An example might be implementing a new expenses system successfully, which saves 50 man days a month across the business. This translates as 50 people times a £150 day rate, resulting in a £7,500 save per month or £90,000 per year. 
add up all the revenues and profits that you have created and the cost saved. Ideally, you want the final total to be three or more multiples of your salary. The higher, the better. Put your calculations on another printout so that you can hand to your boss when asking for a raise. Third, demonstrate your performance relative to others. The last piece of preparation is about showing how the value you are creating compares to others in your team and company. Yet the company will only have so much budget allocated to increasing pay, so you want to get the proportional pay rise that you deserve. Compare your output and results to those doing a similar job. You know, if you consistently answer more calls, or send more paperwork, or retain more customers, or save more time, etc., compared to others in your team or in the business, you have a good argument to get a bigger salary increase compared to them. Do not put others down. Prepare your case by focusing on showing how much more you deliver compared to the average person in this position. The stronger your preparation and the more value you create for the business, the more compelling the case is for you to get a raise. Your preparation will make it easier for your manager to give you a raise. Always book a meeting room with your boss and discuss getting a raise in private. Speaking in public might put your boss in a difficult position, which will make getting your raise a lot more difficult. I will share some sample scripts for a conversation with your boss in a sec. My name is Jess Coles, and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources, and courses, teaching you the skills to build high-performing teams. I've included links in the description below to additional examples going through what to say when asking for a pay rise, so do take a look at these. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So here is an example script of what you might say when meeting with your boss to ask for a raise. Thanks Debbie for meeting with me to discuss my salary. Please would you consider increasing my salary by £5,000 to £43,000. I appreciate that you'll have to talk to others about this raise. I have prepared some useful comparisons and supporting data to help you understand the value I'm creating, which you will hopefully find useful in these conversations. I've compared my salary to similar jobs in the marketplace, and as you can see from these job adverts, I'm currently being underpaid by at least £5,000. I've also spoken to these three recruitment consultants, and they tell me if I were to move, I should be looking at a 5 to 7k salary increase as a minimum. They've also told me it's very much a candidate's market and getting another job offer shouldn't take long. You know, I've been at ABC for three years and I'm very keen to stay longer assuming we can come to a sensible agreement on pay and my development going forward. I would also like to take you through my top five achievements delivered over the last year which demonstrate that I'm adding in excess of £300,000 in value to this company as a minimum. My best achievement to date is, and then go on to describe each achievement briefly. I would end the request by saying something like, you know, I hope all this demonstrates that I deserve at least a £5,000 salary increase. Do you have any initial thoughts on my salary request? The request should take a minute or two to make. Do not go into masses of detail or prepare a presentation, etc. This is not needed. When you've done your homework and you are a good employee doing a good job, getting at least a reasonable salary increase shouldn't be particularly hard. If you'd like more examples of salary increase conversations, please take a look at the link in the description where you can get more free examples. Next, let's quickly cover what responses to expect after asking for a salary increase. It is very rare to get a yes on the spot after asking for a salary increase. Your boss will have to speak to HR and their boss before saying yes to a raise that you have asked for. Your boss might put forward a compromise offer, so keep your counter arguments in mind if this happens. Expect your boss to tell you that they will have to get back to you with an answer soon. I would normally expect a couple of days at worst. If they don't come back to you within a week or so, bring up asking for a raise again and ask what the decision is. When you are a good employee delivering a lot of value and you are making a reasonable request for a raise and you have prepared well, I would expect 9 times out of 10 you will get a raise. So in summary, asking for a raise is daunting for everyone. 
you know, nobody wants to be told no, particularly when you're being underpaid versus the market or compared to what you're delivering for the company. A no feels horrible. To make getting a raise a lot more likely, you should keep increasing the value you are delivering for the company and be a good employee and team member, so your boss won't want to risk losing you and having to go through the hassle, cost and risk of finding somebody new. Always ask for a raise at least every year if you don't automatically get given a raise that you feel you deserve. If you have any questions on how to ask for and get a raise, increase your salary today, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.